What's better than a robot? It's a robot with a purpose. Hey everybody, my name is Evan and I wanted to share a little bit with you on some things I've been doing with the Sphero RVR and uh, some fun activities involving these circuit Python boards that uh, I have here. We are in lockdown in Vietnam and so I've had lots of time inside uh, to kind of experiment and so let me rewind a little bit. Last December, um, I was playing around with the Sphero RVR and just kind of driving it around on the carpet in the living room. And my daughter noticed um, and saw it and, and she was playing with her, her van full of her toys. And she said, uh, could we tie them together? Like, could this robot pull this uh, around on the carpet? And so we, we played around with it and we did and it was a lot of fun. Another piece of this is I've been looking for a way to use some capabilities that are now built into the RVR that were released a while ago, last October I think it was, um, that involved being able to take this thing and drive it to particular locations on the floor. Basically, if you give it the right command to go to a, a particular position on the floor, it will actually do that. And so I wanted to access that. Uh, the only downside um, was that they were only providing code that did that right out of the box for the Raspberry Pi. And I have a lot of other boards around, like Microbit and uh, some uh, Adafruit boards. Now, Sphero does provide a, a set of commands for the Microbit, but because uh, the Microbit is a little bit limited in terms of memory, they didn't actually include this capability in the software that they wrote for it. And so I was left to try and figure out how to do it myself using some of these boards. And it actually took quite a while. Um, but I'm really happy to say that I was able to get it to work um, after a lot of experimentation, a lot of uh, reading and trial and error and figuring it out. And so I want to share this video with you uh, to show what uh, my daughter and I were able to do the other day. Okay, so a lot of fun. All I did was essentially uh, figure out using the tiles on my floor what coordinates I wanted the robot to drive to. Um, I, my daughter and I kind of worked to tie the thing onto the back of the RVR and uh, then we let it rip and we obviously had a lot of fun doing it. And so I want to share some of, uh, some of how you can play around with this yourself. Uh, to do this, you're obviously going to need an RVR. You're also going to need a board that runs CircuitPython. Uh, there are a lot of these. I'm using the Metro M4. Go to adafruit.com and uh, check out some of the different boards that they have. Um, I use the Metro M4 for some of my initial experiments. And then uh, here in Vietnam, we have a bunch of these little boards that have the same chip as the uh, some of the Adafruit boards, but it doesn't have out of the box um, the ability to run CircuitPython. And so I had to do a little bit of work to do that, but now I have the code that you saw running in that video here on this board. Um, let me show you a little bit about what you have to do in order to, uh, in order to hook this up and get it running. Now the first thing I want to point out, this is the Metro board. Some of the, the, the things you have to understand about this is the way that this board is going to communicate with the RVR. And it's going to do that using the serial port. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to put it into the TX port. You can see there's a TX right there. And that stands for the transmit port of this board here. Uh, we're also going to be powering this board by plugging it in via USB. And so that's going to power it up when I turn on the RVR. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to take this wire from the transmit port 
of this, we're gonna plug it into the receive port of the RVR. So I'm gonna pop this off. I'm gonna thread this through this uh, little slot in the lid, and I'm gonna go to the RX port, which is this fourth pin in. So I'm gonna throw that, put that wire in there, so that it's now on the RX pin. So now I can kind of feed that back onto there, and now the board is ready to go on the RBR. Okay, so the wiring is ready to go. Let's look at some of the programming. Now I have included in the notes below this video a link to this annotated code. This is the code that I wrote to work with the RBR using circuit Python. So I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to disconnect this from the RBR for a moment. I'm going to take this other USB cable and plug it into my Metro. So you can see now we have some lights popping on. This is now connected to the computer. So when I open up the Circuit Python drive, it's going to pop up here and there's going to be a main.py file in there. Uh, I'm going to open that up. That's the code editor I like to use. You can see it's totally blank. And so I can go to this, uh, this is my code, and I can paste it right into main.py. I can save it, and that's it. Now the code is on the Metro board you can see here. And so it's uh, sending some commands. You saw when this uh, kind of flashed, you saw there was a little red and then green that showed that it was saving it to the board. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna have to do is unplug. I'm gonna plug this back into the Metro. And then uh, when I put this on the floor and uh, hit go, it's gonna run. So I'll just hit the button. So everything's working. Now you might be wondering, how can you play with this? So this uh, software, this Python file that I've written for you that's annotated has a whole bunch of comments that kind of explain how to use it. But uh, I'll talk a little bit about what you can do with this. I put together some notes for you to explain uh, how this works and uh, it goes deep down into the, the technical details pretty much if you look at uh, what's on the screen right now, you can see what I did to plan out this path on the floor. I gave it some coordinates, each of these green points. I found the coordinates, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, and so on. Um, and so I planned that out. And if you go to the code, there's a little note there that says scroll to line 86. If you do that, on line 86, you start to see the things that you may want to play with. And so I have a variable for speed, a variable for the tile width. Um, my tiles on the floor are 80 centimeters square. Yours might be different. And uh, the other important thing to know is the coordinates. And so this is just a list of uh, a list that has the X and Y coordinates um, that I want the RVR to go around. And so if nothing else, you can come in here, change the speed. If the tile for uh, your floor is different, change that, and then change the set of coordinates after you plan out where you want this thing to go and download the code the way I showed you before, it'll just work. Uh, but I've included a whole bunch of stuff in these notes to show you this. I've shown uh, a whole bunch of different uh, different resources that I used to put this together, a little bit of the background. If you really want to know, if you're interested in doing more than just uh, kind of using it, understanding how I did this, all the technical details about um, what a command looks like if you want to send something to the RBR, it's all here. Um, and I go straight to 
sort of what I needed to piece this together as um, in order to get this working. And I also included some links to the different parts of the Raspberry Pi SDK so that you can, you don't have to search around maybe as much as I did in getting this to work. Um, and so maybe I'll, I'll finish by just saying what's next. Right now, this is a single uh, code that runs within a single py uh, Python uh, program. It would be good to integrate some of the other capabilities of the API uh, using some of what's built into the SDK already. It would be good to move this to a class so that it's uh, not just running within its own Python file. We can kind of import these capabilities into a different program and maybe we get together and start an open RVR library. I don't know. Uh, I'd love to work with all the people out there. I hope that this can help you. I hope you can have some fun. Thanks for watching.